Here we have a rational function, so we should try to do partial fraction, right? However, can we factor out the denominator? Unfortunately not. And in fact, the worst thing is that this quadratic doesn't have any real root. So the way to deal with this is that we will have to complete the square right here for the irreducible quadratic situation. So here we go. Let me put down CTS for completing the square. And we do that to the denominator, x squared plus 2x. And then we'll leave a space right here. And then we put down plus 5. Well, I have to think about a number to add right here. And that number is the following. First, we have to make sure the leading coefficient is 1. And we do have 1 in front of the x squared, so that's good. Then we look at the coefficient of x, which is 2. Then what we do is that we do 1 half times this, which is 2. And then we put that in the parentheses, and then we square that. And I call the result of this the magic number, because once we add the magic number right here, the first three terms will become a perfect square. It's so magical, right? So 1 half times 2 is 1, and then you square that is 1 squared. Of course, it's just 1. So the magic number is just plus 1. But you see, this is an expression, so be sure we minus 1 so that we don't change the value of this expression. And now we see that this first three terms is nothing but just x plus 1 times x plus 1. So I can write this down as x plus 1 in your parentheses and then raised to the second power. And then for this 2 right here, it's of course just plus 4. Right? Plus 5 minus 1. And now we will go back to the integral and do the following. We see that this is going to be the integral of x plus 4 over that for the denominator now. I will just write down x plus 1 squared and then plus 4. And then, of course, we have the dx. And now let's take a look right here. Well, here we have x plus 1 and then squared and then plus 4. And notice, 4 is like 2 to the second power. Some our tangent is going to come out, right? The inverse tangent is going to come out. But we actually have to do this one carefully because I would like to have this as just one variable, so we will actually have to do a u sub. Let me just write it here. Let u equal to the inside function, which is x plus 1. So, and then we do the usual business. If u is equal to x plus 1, differentiate both sides, we get du is equal to the derivative of x plus 1 is just 1. And of course, we put down dx for the differential. So that's pretty much the ingredients. And we see that this is integral of... And let me just do the denominator first. Let me put u for this. So we will have u squared and then plus 4. And then here, dx is the same as du. So I will just write down du right here. And as you can see, everything is in U at the moment, but I haven't done the top yet. On the top, we do have this X. Well, this X has to be changed to U. So with that being said, let's take a look right here. We have U is equal to X plus 1. So I'm just going to minus 1 on both sides. That means X is equal to U minus 1. But I want to get X plus 4. So, of course, I can just add 4 on both sides, right? So, add 4, add 4, and we see that x plus 4 is equal to u minus 1 plus 4 is, of course, plus 3. So, I will put this down on the top, u plus 3, like that. And see how pretty this is. We have like three colors in one integral. Anyway, here is the deal now. I will split the fraction because I notice we can integrate this part, right, u over u squared plus 4. And in fact, we can also integrate if we have a constant on the top over this for the denominator. So separate the integrals. Well, here, the first integral is u over u squared plus 4. And let me close this integral by putting down the du. And for the second one, we are going to add we have a 3 on the top, but that's just a constant multiple. So I'm going to bring that to the front, and then the integral, and I will have the 1 now. And once again, 1 times 
one times three is three, that's why we have the three right here already. And then for this situation though, when we have a constant on the top, and then on the denominator is the sum of two squares, I'm going to write this as u squared plus four is the same as two squared. And you'll see why. And this is du, of course. And with that being said, we are all ready to go. We can totally work this out. And I will do it uh, right here. I will do a w substitution. <laughs> so I'll say w is equal to u squared plus four. And differentiate both sides, dw equals to two u du, right? And then isolate the du, so I will just get du equals to, divide this on both sides, dw over two u. So we see that this is equal to the integral of u on the top over, this right here is just w. And then the du is that, so I just put down dw over two u. And the beauty is the u's cancel, and we have the one half, we can take that to the front, and the integral of one over w, dw. And for this part, as we all know, this is just the natural log of the absolute value of w. So this is just one half, natural log, absolute value of w. But we also know that this is just one half ln, w is u squared plus four, and because this is always positive, so I can actually just use a parentheses. This is for the first one, so I will just write this down right here. We have one half. Natural log, no absolute value needed, we just put down u squared plus four right here, okay? And for the second one, I will actually use a formula in this case. And you guys can check out my other video to see why that formula is true. Here we go. We have a constant on the top, and on the bottom, we have u squared plus two squared, right? So the formula is this, and I will just write this down as one over, let me just say u squared plus a squared du. And a is a number, u is the variable. So that's the situation that we have. Okay. The formula is, you look at what A is, pay attention to what A is. In our situation, A will be 2. And we do 1 over 2, and we get the inverse tangent, and I will look at, I will use this for the notation. And the input is U over A. So, well, I should put on A right here. I should have put on A right here. Right? So this is the formula that we'll be using. And once again, I haven't put down any plus e yet because I'm going to do that integral right here. And with that being said, here we go. I will just write down the plus three. And for this one right here, we will just be using that formula. So we have one over two right here, one over two. And we have the inverse tangent of u over 2. The a value here is 2. And that's pretty much it. So we are done with all the integration steps. And finally, we just have to go back to the x world. And that's all. So here we go. This is 1 half ln. Right here, u is x plus 1. So here we see the u, which is just x plus 1, and we square that and then plus 4 after that. And for this one, we just add 3 times this, which is 3 half, and we have the inverse tangent, and the u is x plus 1. So I just put down that x plus 1 on the top over 2, like this. And we notice this right here, the x plus 1 in the parentheses, and then square, and then you add 4. This is just the original, the original denominator. So I'll just put that down and will be it. So finally, finally, we see this is just 1 half natural log of x squared plus 2x plus 5 after you multiply it out, which is just the original denominator. And this is pretty much the same thing, so just write it down again. 3 half times the inverse tangent, 
of x plus 1 over 2. And we are all done. So finally, I'll put on a plus c here. And as always, I will box the answer right here. And this is it.